On January 14, 2014, former Fullerton Police Department officers Manuel Ramos and Jay Cisnelli were acquitted of charges in the July 2011 beating death of Kelly Thomas, a 37-year-old schizophrenic drifter. Although the not guilty verdict was a shock to supporters of the Thomas family, what may have stung even more was Cisnelli's statements to an Orange County newspaper, saying he would seek his job back with the Fullerton Police Department. I was wrongfully terminated, said Cisnelli to the paper. How do you argue with a jury of 12 who all agree on the same thing? Residents and supporters showed up at Fullerton City Council meeting January 21st to let the city council members know how they felt about Cisnelli's rehiring. If this guy gets rehired, it's not going to be good for the city at all. Please do not hire those other officers, those officers back. Really, really urge the five of you to definitely not let Cincinnati back here. He's just not wanted here. His damage has been done. Police Chief Dan Hughes was in charge of firing Cisnelli in July 2012, a year after Kelly Thomas's death. I understand that one of the officers has alleged that I have wrongfully terminated him and that he wants his job back. I, I want this community to know that I am confident in the decision making that I have made regarding these former officers and I intend to vigorously defend my position and my decisions in each and every step of the employment grievance process that they have. The tricky thing here is that although Hughes has stated multiple times that he will fight to keep Cicinelli from regaining employment with the department, Cicinelli may pursue a lawsuit to regain his job. But that only happens if an arbitration process falls apart. Cicinelli will have to make his case to an arbitrator who would make a recommendation to the city. City council members would then vote on whether to rehire him. If you vote to put him back on the force, you will be out of the job. Absolutely. Hugh says the Fullerton Police Department has made a lot of changes and is still changing thanks to recommendations from an independent review of department policies. Any police officer who betrays the oath that they've made to this department and betrays the oath that they make to this badge and what to stand this badge represents, I will do everything in my lawful authority to ensure that they never have the privilege of wearing this badge again. Reforms aside, the Kelly Thomas incident is a weight many residents in the city still carry. You think of the, the very soul of this city being ripped apart by a police department. I think you will hear the screams of Kelly Thomas through these streets, especially in the downtown, forever. It will never go away.